And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Thursday, the 14th of July. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you through what's happening today in the market. Across the news last night, we saw that hotter than expected inflation number came in at 9.1% when expectations were 8.8. We saw mild losses on the close across all major indices, though significantly recovered from their early shock. Big banks, of course, kick off earnings season in the US today, and that's going to be significant also over the next few days. US futures are mildly negative in Asia and Asian indices, and mixed this morning with the ASX up around about 0.4%. The Nikkei is pretty close to neutral. European futures are suggesting a neutral open, and the US dollar index paused yesterday, but has hit new highs again in Asia as there's some follow through from that inflation data. Gold is still struggling and testing that important 1725 level after drops earlier in the week. And likewise with oil looking precariously balanced just around $100 and the 200 EMA. The VIX remains below 28, didn't move much yesterday and copper is holding short term support. Uh, still at nine month lows, however. We saw a little recovery in Bitcoin after breaking down towards support at 18,600. Managed to rally a little bit to edge back to 20,000 today, but certainly not significant buying pressure coming in yet. And of course, as we've said, US earnings season kicks off today. Australian jobs this morning on the data front beat with the AUD responding accordingly. And tonight we've got the US PPI and weekly jobs, the headline data. A couple of charts of interest today to have a look at. I'm going to start with the Australian dollar yen daily chart. And you can see there we've got a little bit of a bounce this morning on the back of that jobs data, which sort of gives the RBA the green light to continue to tighten. Uh, you can see that it's pretty close to a key level at 93. If we just pop it back onto the 30 minute chart, you can see how when that jobs data came out, we've got a nice pop in the AUD. We're looking at 93.22 as an important level with a potential move up possibly to around about 93.70. On stocks, we are looking again at JB Hi-Fi. We've got a really nice break this morning of 40.70. be interesting to see if we hold. But you can see here we've been testing this 40.70 level now for the last week, as well as back towards the end of June. So this looks like a significant technical move. But of course, we've got the rest of the day to cope with. Uh, we are early on in the session, as you can see, through this lower volume. But worth keeping an eye on nevertheless and see how it is moving into the close. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.